Hey, this is Jerry Douglas, and I want you to know about a new instructional course that I have on Modern Music Masters. It's called Roots and Branches. And it is a look back at some of my early influences like Bashful Brother Oswald, Flatten Scruggs Dobro player Josh Graves, and the wonderful Mike Aldridge, who were all huge influences on me and the entire Dobro community at large. I break down some of their signature tunes and their licks and the different ways they played things, focusing on the essential sounds and techniques every Dobro player should know. I hope you can join me in paying tribute to these wonderful fellows who, each in their own way, introduced the Dobro sound to the world. I'll see you there. Thanks. There are a lot of interesting things about Bashful Brother Oswald. His real name was Beecher Kirby. He's the, the first Dobro player that a lot of people heard for a long, long time. This is the sound that I fell in love with first. And to play the harmonics that moved. Things like that, the slants. A lot of times I like to just fall back into this style of playing just to remind me of where all of it came from. Uh. Let's talk a little bit about the Josh Graves style of playing the dobro guitar. Started playing as fast as he could with Earl Scruggs and trying to keep up and using dobro rolls, which are like banjo rolls, a little different, you know, are uh, all kinds of crazy things that had never been heard on the dobro guitar before. <laughs> I'm using his thumb to hit this bottom sixth string to kind of give him a, a look like a little bit of a rock. It's a Merle Travis kind of a thing. Uh, this solo blew my mind the first time I heard it was when he played Randy Lynn Rag. Uh, guy who contributed such an amazing, amazing amount to bluegrass and to dobro playing. He was in a band called The Seldom Scene. His name is Mike Aldridge. He played music that was more advanced than your normal bluegrass band kind of material. But as soon as I heard him, I thought, okay, there's a completely new way to play this thing, and this guy's showing me. And so I'm going to play a, a song called Carolina Palms that, that he wrote and uh, played.